We would like to apply both cutting-edge microfluidic technology and biomedical cell-based modeling to understand and treat a detrimental subset of breast cancers that is typically resistant to treatment and can develop metastasis or cancer recurrence. This is a collaborative project between a biologist and an engineer. We are using techniques that are commonly used in the semiconductor chip fabrication industry to make biological microfluidic chips. All of this device fabrication work is done here in our clean room at the University of Dayton using processes such as photolithography, thin film deposition, micromolding, and replication. We have designed, built, and tested a microfluid platform, including multiple microchannels that allow us to capture migrating cancer cells and characterize their McLennan behaviors. One unique feature of this platform is that it resembled the tumor microenvironment, which primary tumor mass surrounded by multiple physical paths where the cell disseminate from the tumors. One of the new ideas we want to explore in this project is to embed tiny light sources and spectroscopic sensors inside the microfluidic chip so that we can detect these migrating cancer cells. So instead of using large tabletop microscopes, this should allow us to have a much more compact device that is more convenient to use in the future. Our goal is to generate a reliable and quantifiable platform for studying invasive cancer cells, particularly those of breast cancer, which is one of the leading causes of cancer mortality in women. As we can identify the factor that enhance the cancer invasion, we hope to provide means for early diagnose McLennan transformation and thus quickly predict prognosis and suggest novel targets for breast cancer treatments. Our long-term goal in this project is to merge the newest ideas from nanofabrication, biology, and optical sciences to create a compact, handheld, and portable sensor that can be used in the study of cancer cells and their migration patterns.